Hi everyone. When the distance between the focus of a parabola is given by y minus p squared equals 4 times p times x, and the directrix of a parabola x squared equals 4p times y minus p is 10, we're going to find the value of uh, the positive number p. So basically, let's look at this. Uh, our equation, let's look at this first one. Uh, y minus p squared equals 4 times p times x is a translation of uh, y squared equals 4px. And that's with the tra uh, that's with this right here. So this is uh, a translation of p units along the y-axis. So you just set this part to zero and you get p. So that's positive p there. All right. Since y squared equals 4px, that's your p there, has a focus at p comma zero, that means for our equation y minus p squared equals 4px has a focus at p comma p because of this p units along the x-axis. All right, now let's look at this one real quick. Uh, this one is x squared, let's do a different color, x squared equals 4p times y minus p. Now that's the translation of x squared equals 4py. And this is with p units. And we're looking at this part along the y-axis. Again, we're setting this to zero and we get p. All right, now for x squared equals 4py, this has a focus at 0 comma p. Therefore, our x squared equals 4 p times y minus p has a focus at, since we're translating it, it's going to be 0 and p, and then we're going to add this p. All right, uh, from there, uh, the directrix of uh, this one right here is y equals negative p. And the directrix of uh, this one, therefore, would be y equals negative p, but you have to add the p, so plus p, which equals 0. So this directrix is 0. All right, so the distance between a point p comma p and a line y equals 0 is 10 because it's right here. So uh, this is 10, therefore our p equals 10 because that p here is y. So when you take that distance, you get 10. Therefore, um, p equals 10 and our p has to be positive. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.